Hi friends, welcome to today's class. The today's question is, a vessel contains mixture of liquids A and B in the ratio 3 is to 2. 20 liters of mixture is taken out and replaced by 20 liters of liquid B. The ratio changes to 1 is to 4. How many liters of liquid B was initially present in the vessel? So what's the question given? We are having a vessel and this vessel is having a mixture of A and B and the ratio of A is to B is given as 3 is to 2. Then 20 liters of this mixture is taken out and replaced by 20 liters of B. So 20 liters of A plus B mixture is taken out. It is replaced by 20 liters of B and the ratio will change as 1 is to 4. How many liters of liquid B was initially present in the vessel? So that's a given question. So how to proceed with this question? So let us assume that x be the number of liters of the mixture after 20 liters has been taken out. So we can say this x, x is the number of liters of the mixture or it is a quantity of the mixture after 20 liters of the mixture are taken out. We don't know how much was the initial quantity of the mixture. It is simply given a mixture of A and B. Out of this 20 liters of mixture is taken out. So let x be the amount which is left after the 20 liters of the mixture has been taken out. And this x when combined with 20 liters of B will give us the final mixture. We are also given the ratio of A and B in the final mixture. So using this information or using this one we can find out what was the initial quantity of B in the mixture. So we can apply the rule of allegation since we are adding B. We have to take this x quantity. Here also we have to take the amount of B or the quantity of B present. And also we have to take here the final mixture also we have to take the quantity of B present. So in x litres how much of B is present? It is given the ratio is 3 is to 2. So B will be 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 parts of B and B is getting added. 20 litres of B is getting added. So we can write it as 1 or 5 by 5. For the incidence, we are writing it as 5 by 5. Only B is getting added. Pure B is getting added, added or 100 percentage of B is getting added. So we can represent it as 1 or for the incidence, we are giving it as 5 by 5. And final mixture, what is the quantity of B? The ratio is 1 is to 4. So the quantity of B will be 4 by 4 plus 1. So it will be 4 by 5. And we know this is X and this is 20 liters. So applying the rule of allegation, the difference between 4 by 5 and 1 by 5 is 1 by 5. The difference between 4 by 5 and 2 by 5 is 2 by 5. So our final ratio is 1 is to 2. So we can say x is to 20 is equal to 1 is to 2. x by 20 is equal to 1 is to 2. Therefore x is equal to 10. So what is x actually? x is the number of litres that is present after 20 liters of the mixture has been taken out. The initial quantity of the mixture will be 20 plus 10. 20 liters is taken out and 10 liters is remaining. The initial quantity will be 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So from here we can find out the initial quantity of B as initial quantity of B will be 2 by 5 into 30. The ratio of A and B in the initial mixture is 3 is to 2. So initial quantity of B will be 2 by 5 into 30 is equal to 2 into 6 that is 12 liters. Now example number 2. A can contains a mixture of 2 liquids A and B in the ratio 7 is to 5. When 9 liters of mixture are drawn off and the can is filled with B, the ratio changes to 7 is to 9. How many liters of liquid A was contained by the can initially? Same kind of question. Here we are having a can. And the can is having a mixture of A and B. So the can is having a mixture of A plus B. The ratio of A and B is given as 7 is to 5. Then 9 liters of the mixture is taken out and it is filled with B. 9 liters of B. Now the ratio changes to 7 is to 9. The content of A becomes 7 and the content of B becomes 9. It changes to 7 is to 9. Then how many liters of liquid A was contained by the can initially? Here also same method. Let x be the liters after the 9 liters of mixture has been drawn out. Let x be the liters. Let, let x be the quantity of the mixture after 9 liters of mixture are drawn off. So we are having this x liters and when the 9 liters of B are combined together, we will be getting the final mixture. And the final mixture is having A and B in the ratio of 7 is to 9. 
So our purpose is to find out x. So this can be done by using the rule of allegation. So whenever a combination comes here, x and this nine liters of B combine together to give the final mixture. So whenever a combination comes, you have to think about using the rule of allegation directly. So here, x is a mixture of A and B, and uh, x is the initial mixture. It is a quantity of the initial mixture that is present after nine liters has been taken off. So the content of B will be given as seven is to five. So we'll be having b is equal to 5 by 12. 5 divided by 7 plus 5. So it will be 5 by 12. And b is getting added. So only purely b is getting added. So we can say it is 1. The content of b getting added is 1. And in the final mixture, the ratio is given as 7 is to 9. So the quantity of b will be 9 divided by 7 plus 9. It will be 9 by 16. Now finding out the difference. Difference between 9 by 16 and 1 will be given as 16 by 16 minus 9 by 16. So it will be 7 by 16. And the difference between 5 by 12 and 9 by 16 will be given as 48 is the denominator. So 5 into 4 is 20 and 9 into 3 is 27. So the difference will be 7 by 48. So our required ratio is 7 and 7 is getting cancelled. So it will be 1 by 16 is to 1 by 48 which will be equal to 3 is to 1. So our required ratio is 3 is to 1. So we know this is x and this is 9. So 3 by 1 is equal to x by 9. From that we will be getting x is equal to 27 litres. So x is the quantity of the mixture after 9 litres is taken off. So the initial quantity of the mixture will be 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. In our question we are required to find out how many liters of liquid A was contained by the can initially. So the initial ratio is 7 is to 5. So the content of A will be 7 by 12 into 36. 7 divided by 7 plus 5 that is 7 by 12 into 36. So 12 and 36 we can cancel out. So 7 into 3 is equal to 21 liters. So that's our final answer. Now let's see one more example. A vessel contains a mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1. When 10 liters of the mixture is taken out and 10 liters of water is poured in, the ratio becomes 2 is to 3. How many liters of milk was contained in the vessel? So the same kind of question. We are having a mixture of milk and water and the ratio is given as 4 is to 1. Then 10 liters of the mixture is taken out and 10 liters of water is getting poured in. So the ratio changes to 2 is to 3. So we have to find out how many liters of milk was contained in the vessel initially. So let x be the quantity of mixture after 10 liters of the mixture is taken out. And this x and the 10 liters of water are combined together to get the final mixture. And it is given that the ratio in the final mixture is 2 is to 3. So we know the ratio. We know this is 10 liters. So we can easily find out x by following the rule of allegation. x is representing the initial mixture. So in the initial mixture the ratio is 4 is to 1. Therefore the content of water will be 1 divided by 4 plus 1. So it will be 1 by 5. Then water is getting added. So we can say 1. 1 is the quantity of water that is getting added or it is a proportion. The proportion of water to the content that is getting added is 1. And in the final mixture, the milk to water ratio is 2 is to 3. So the content of water will be 3 divided by 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 by 5. So this 1 can be written as 5 by 5 for easiness. The difference between 3 by 5 and 5 by 5 is 2 by 5. And the difference between 3 by 5 and 1 by 5 is again 2 by 5. So required ratio is 1 is to 1. So we know that this is x and this is 10 liters. So we will be getting x is equal to 10 liters. So x is the quantity of the mixture after 10 liters is taken out. So the initial quantity will be x plus 10. So initial quantity is 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Our, in our question we are required to find out how many liters of milk was contained in the vessel. So the ratio of milk to water in the initial mixture is 4 is to 1. So our answer will be the amount of milk is equal to 4 divided by 4 plus 1. That is 4 by 5 into 20. So we can just cancel out here. So it will be 4 into 4 equal to 16 liters. Thank you for watching.